Hey everybody, so today we are making flan in the Instant Pot and the first thing we gotta do is make the caramel which is a half a cup of sugar. We're gonna go ahead and add it to the pot. We're gonna turn our flame on. Medium low, medium low is good. And we're gonna go ahead and cook it. It should take about four to six minutes. So after about two to three minutes, it's already gonna start breaking down the sugar. And as you can see, it's starting to caramelize. So you gotta keep stirring it. You don't wanna burn the sugar. So again, keep it on medium low. The heat, you do not want a burnt taste. You want it to be a nice caramel taste, nice caramel color. So let's go ahead and keep stirring. If you have to, you can lift it up off of the flame. That way it doesn't burn and just stir away until you get a nice liquid consistency. This took me exactly four minutes to get to this point right here. We're pretty much there. Just gonna break down these last few grains right here and then add it to our pan. It's nice and done now. Stove off. So our stove is off. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our pan right now. The pan is greased with, lightly with um, some cooking spray. And we're gonna go ahead and just move it around. You wanna try to cover all the bottom, get some on the sides. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs. And it's a total of five eggs. You can do four if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and do five. So next we're gonna go ahead and add our two milks. We're gonna add one can of evaporated milk. Stump it right in. We're also gonna add one can of condensed milk, or in Spanish we call it leche condensada. Next, we're gonna add one quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let me just go ahead and open it up. If you hear the dogs barking in the background, I apologize. But here we go, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're also gonna add about one tablespoon of flour just to get give some consistency and so it doesn't collapse on us. And last but not least, we're gonna add in our one bar of cream cheese. Let's go ahead and get it all in there. All right, get it up in there. And now it's time to mix. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it in now. So we're gonna go ahead and, and mix it and just until it's smooth, you don't want to overmix it because it will collapse. And that's it. Now we're just going to take a look inside and it's consistent. You're going to see some bubbles up on the top. That's okay. We're going to let it rest for five minutes. Then we're going to use a spoon and remove any foam that's on the top before we pour it into our pan. If you see any chunks of cream cheese in there, it's okay. We're gonna use a skimmer, so any chunks that stay behind, it's all right. You do not want to over blend it. Okay, so the next step is to now pour your mixture into the pan that you had the caramel in using a strainer. That way any chunks of cream cheese will go ahead and stay behind and you have nice smooth consistency in your flan. And after that, you're gonna have some um, cream cheese again left in the strainer, but that's okay. This, the main thing is to have this consistency that you see here. Now we're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil and then put it in the Instant Pot and we'll get back to that now. All right, so now it's time to cook the flan. What we're gonna do first is add two cups of water. And then after we cover our flan with the aluminum foil, you place it on top of the trivet. 
You're gonna close it up, cook it for 25 minutes on high pressure, and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, everybody, so this is the final product. We just took it out of the pressure cooker. Again, we cooked it for 25 minutes. So now you wanna open it up. And we're gonna go ahead and take it out of this red silicone holder. Go ahead and do that. Okay. So now when you open it up, you're gonna see that it's gonna be a little jiggly in the middle. That's normal. There you have it. This is our flan de queso. Now you're gonna let it cool down for one hour, then seal it up with um, some kind of lid. I have this um, metal lid right here that comes with this set of pot or pan, whatever it is. And, um, or you can just cover it with aluminum foil, whatever. But again, let it cool down for one hour, put it in the fridge for at least four hours. I'm gonna have it for a day before we even eat it. And then you're gonna go ahead and cut around the edges. That noise you hear in the background is another Instant Pot I have going for something else. But again, you're gonna cut around the edges with a knife all the way down to loosen it up. Then you're gonna get a plate, put it on top, and then flip it over. And then you're gonna have your beautiful flan ready to go. Again, you do that after you um, cool it down for an hour here and at least four hours in the fridge. Once you flip it over, make sure you scrape all the caramel and put all that liquid, that delicious liquid on top of the flan. All right, guys, so this is the final result. The flan came out delicious. It came out firm, has the cream cheese inside, and it's just wonderful. Again, 25 minutes in the pressure cooker. You can even do it for 20 minutes if you want, but I like mine just a slightly more firm, so I did it for 25 minutes. Hope you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe and like and share this video with everybody.